July 7th, Jackson County Commission Work Session to order. I have a roll call. District 1, Mr. Dustin, Mr. President. District 2, Mr. Venable. District 3, Mr. Miller, President. And District 4, Mr. Little. Present. Mr. Corbin, Mr. President. I would ask that we keep Mr. Venable and his family in our prayers this afternoon. First item is approval of the, I'm sorry, we'll have our invocation by Mr. Porter and the pledge by Mr. Porter. God, our Father in Heaven, we're blessed to be here. We're blessed to be Americans. We've just been through this uh, celebration of our independence and our freedoms. We thank you for those. We thank you for the freedom to gather together uh, to discuss these matters of public interest. <coughs> thank you for our other freedoms to bear arms and of religion, to association, to the pursuit of happiness. And God, we thank you for those, and we pray that they'll always be protected by our government. God, we thank you for those these men that are gathered here today to discuss the matters that are important to the public. God, we pray especially right now for uh, Jason Venable and his family. His father's been injured. We pray that you'll be with his family and comfort them and guide them. Be with those that are ministering to Mr. Venable. Pray that they'll use their skills to um, heal him, and, and uh, as we know that you can. So God, be with that, that whole family in uh, these difficult times. Watch over us, help us, and save us. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Notice that we'll be doing the attachment of our uh, antennas. Is that correct? And then we'll have to pay for those costs. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Do we do that in house, or do you have to get somebody to do that? We we'll have to have someone to take those down from the power to the power to the point where our equipment that we're taking down and moving is good. I mean, yes. Yeah. There are several other agencies that are on that tower, however, we're not responsible, and I believe Mr. Thompson is working with them to try to find a suitable solution, whether it be on one of his towers or somebody else. The only other uh, issue that we'll run into, we will we'll have to, uh, if we enter into the agreement and get this uh, uh, these items moved to that mountain, we will need to uh, remove the tower from uh, Putnam Mountain, which uh, Depending on the way we approach that main person class, but I'll be careful with that process. Is. 
Any other questions or comments? Okay. If there's no objection, then I'd like to place that on the agenda for next Monday night proceeding. Okay, next item is regarding the serve pro agreement. And uh, you have in your packet should have a copy of the uh, the questions or the answers to several questions we had from Mr. Pitchford from ServPro the last time when we discussed this. You also have a second quote uh, from Brian Keating and Pooling uh, for the uh, process, uh, similar process to what was presented by ServPro. I will note that the quote from Brian Keating and Pooling does not include the sealing uh, of the, uh, or the spray sealing, I guess, that Mr. Pitchford is mentioning in his proposal. Uh, they are going to get an additional quote on that um, uh, to include that with this uh, portion. I don't know if you have the original contract uh, in there as well. So um, I think everybody had received this email uh, with the responses regarding the questions, but we'll open this back up for discussion and see how we'd like to proceed. Any questions or comments? And I think it's something that's necessary that we uh, do. I think it's uh, beneficial to the health of our employees uh, as well as to the maintenance of our courthouse uh, and has the potential to save us some cost and energy. Well, I don't think that'll pay for the project. I think it will assist in payment for the project. <coughs> Next item is regarding County Road 95 matching funds, Mr. White. Yeah, I've got that. I believe all y'all have a copy of this agreement. I'd email it to Anna. Um, this is up in, in uh, the Brown area, Commissioner uh, Guthrie's district. We, uh, we previously commissioned and approved to uh, pay this road using federal funds. Uh, we've got that project ready to, it's uh, scheduled to be bid the last part of this month uh, that we'll be bid in Montgomery. And what this is, it's the original agreement uh, between the ALDOT and us covers the financing of the construction costs for the project. If you turn over page two, if you have it, uh, the total cost of this project, everything is going to be a million and fifty-eight thousand seven hundred forty-seven dollars and ninety-five cents. That's the estimated cost. Of, that could change a little bit one way or the other, depending on what the bids come in at. Uh, if it is this cost, our matching funds would be in the amount of $211,749.59. And, you know, of course, that will change some, but it'll, that's kind of a ballpark. But uh, I've got the uh, the resolutions and everything. I'll give them to Mr. Manning before we leave the originals and all for, uh, for next week's meeting. It will require a resolution, and uh, I've got all those prepared and give to him. And mm -hmm. uh, ask y'all, if you would, to approve uh, putting them for the meeting next week. Questions or comments? Mr. Wagner, did that law that we pay all the bills up front and get reimbursed, is it in effect? These are exempt. These are exempt? They're exempt. Okay. Thank you. Any, uh, any project having federal or state, I believe it's state matching money too, Bob. Have you read the law yet? I know federal money is exempt. Uh, we don't have to. We have, uh, they handle that money down there. They handle all the paying down there. We don't have to. That'll be for all the local money that we use. We, we pay the, the debt quicker according to that law. Yeah, if, we, if we got a local project, we have to pay it quicker, you know, okay. according, to that, according to that new law. And I'm sure Mr. Porter, I know Mr. Porter sent out an email. He's probably familiar with it, too. But uh, this money here, we send it directly into Montgomery, and they, they put it with their 80%, and they take care of how long would uh, expense pay. Okay, thank you. Were these funds set aside with uh, other projects in my previous group, or what was the planning for funding for this project? We discussed it in there, uh, Chairman, and <coughs> I, don't, I don't believe we included it. We were just going to take it directly out of 116, I believe was the last discussion we had. And I could be wrong, but I, I believe that's, you know. Any other questions or comments? We will. Uh, I'll 
I'll say this, we will need to approve this by next Monday night in order to make the, the deadlines to get the money to them for the bid on the end of July. Any other questions? There's no objection. We're going to place that on the agenda next Monday as well. Uh, next item, hiring temporary workers for public work. I got several items. I was following. I've got a little package here, so I'll put one package around. That covers, first page covers that, and some of the subsequent pages covers other stuff. <coughs> we were discussing the uh, temporary workers. We were. We were wanting to ask the commission to consider allowing us to hire uh, eight temporary workers. Uh, first of all, I want to say the first paragraph I got on this, kind of me and Bob got some different numbers on that, so just kind of ignore it for right now. We're going to work on that and have those numbers ready for you to next meeting. Uh, but the next, uh, the next second paragraph discusses more of what we want to do. Y'all are aware we try to run three patch crews and two mowing crews every day, and some days we're not able to. But we feel like with, if we could do this, hire eight temporaries, we would put uh, two on, the, uh, on each of the three passing crews, which would require six of the workers. And then we would put one on each of the two mowing crews, which would require two more. Uh, the, the patch crews, they would basically be shoveling the patch and the mowing crews would be uh, in a pickup truck with the flashers running and what we call pigtailing. And not only would this allow us to continue to uh, run these crews every day, but also free up some skilled workers that would uh, that would put on other areas of doing stuff that they would be also be capable of doing. But uh, y'all can see if uh, I kind of felt like you know, time to get all this process approved. Maybe we could have uh, we could have them in place by uh, the first of uh, August, and that would give us a couple of months this fiscal year, based on our I think our ten dollar hour for temporary. So, that would run us about $25,000 for those uh, workers for the two months. I would like to go ahead and consider them keeping them at least three or four more months into the next fiscal year because uh, we feel like that'd be about the time of getting around, you know, cool weather and, and starting to slack off on the work a little bit. Questions or comments? Maybe something to consider shorter time frame this, uh, this summer and then try to maybe work that into the budget for next year and mm -hmm. more. Any questions or comments? Uh, the big thing, of course, is looking at these dollars and kind of confirming where we're at. Um, not the dollars for this, but uh, looking at that and all things looking okay there, is there any objection to placing this on the agenda next Monday night or do we want to discuss this? If there's no objection, then we'll place that on the agenda for Monday. Okay, next item, Uncle Boone for public work. Yeah, we've uh, we've continued looking look into this. Uh, we find a company, uh, I don't really have a whole lot for you on that. I, I call it copy or quit. Uh, there's a company in, uh, in addition to Howell and Fort Payne and Ingram Equipment, a company in Chattanooga we found uh, called Nichols that also manufactures in. Mr. Guthrie, are you familiar with them? Nichols Equipment. Uh, seem to be a record of the company. We found prices ranging anywhere from uh, around the $150,000 to $160,000 range for uh, a larger truck like we talked about. And uh, now we get one of our reasons before with all the bells and whistles, it gets as high as $200,000. Or uh, we did find the one truck, the used truck, smaller truck. $62,000 for a, a used model. Uh, that's the only one we've really been able to find it, is used. And we got to look and check on the little photo. This truck's got 125,000 miles on it. That's a lot of miles for a, for a uh, knuckle truck to have on it. A lot of, a lot of tree pickups. But uh, if uh, if y'all want us to proceed forward, you know, we're going to have to put out a bid, no matter what. Uh, I can put out a bid that would uh, cater towards the used side, uh, side of it, or we could go with the new. And I know the truck Mr. Level found was, uh, on, that was on the JCPW, I mean mm -hmm. NJPW. Uh, it was $130,000. Had a little bit smaller bed than what we need. Of course, they could, you know, we'll send bids out to all that and, and you know, be sure we cover everybody. But 
I, did, I guess uh, if the commission wants to proceed with this, what we need, I need some guidance on what y'all approve us, you know, want me to want me to be at based on the amount. We've not, uh, <coughs> not, none of the companies you talked to are on any approved bid list. They don't have any products that are approved. No, no. Uh, we are, we are looking at putting, we've mentioned it in the state joint bid. I'm on the committee that does ACCA bid. And we talked about trying to get them there, but that'd be so far out. It, would probably want to, not want to wait on that. I personally want to see the view in some big county and I just think it'll pay for itself. I really do. Yeah. What, I'm sorry. What I'd like to do if we chose to go with a new route, uh, you know, we'll bid one out with a like a thirty yard body on it and then we'll push say how much more would it be if we put a 40 yard on there? Because I know that was a lot of the discussion. <coughs> so we can just, you know, we can handle it that way. Yeah. Mr. Mayor, do you think there'll be any federal assistance or grants or anything for us looking to get into the storm cleanup of our county? Do you think anything like that? Have you seen anything? That I think I'm just, I was just curious if with us not having any equipment, if there's anything out there that helps us. If not, when I mean, we do have the equipment and go through with the cleanup and things like that, can't we charge on some of these disaster areas? So, I mean, you, you can Sometimes it's FEMA you know. reimbursed if we declare it a disaster okay. area. <coughs> in these small incidents, uh, in these small, small things, incidents, that's right. I'm sorry. In these small incidents, uh, no. Be. no. We just as we, we talked about last meeting. You know, we just we don't want to get into. We're going out and you know cleaning up right of ways that people. We want people to understand. We don't want them. You know, this is not something to pick up stuff that's dumped on the right of way. This is for storms and stuff of that nature. It's not going to be used. I know, like the city uses theirs, it wouldn't be for that purpose. Yeah. Uh, what we can do, I, what I think we can go ahead and bid this out. Uh, we need to look at those opportunities for grants. But if you could get together <coughs> uh, kind of the specs and get that to the commissioners okay. uh, to take a look at, uh, and we'll kind of go from there as far as the bid process. And in the meantime, we'll also look for. Uh, right. We'll get together some specs. We're going to try to, we've got. Mentioned we've you know talked to three companies and we're going to try to just make them as generic specs as we can so all three of them got equal opportunity to be okay. We'll do that. If there's no objection, then we'll proceed like that. Okay, next item the solid waste management plan public hearing. Yeah, uh, y'all recall we've been working on this for the entire year. We've advertised everything. ADM has approved our draft uh, management plan and uh, the. Uh, uh, Celeste from ESA will be up here next Monday. We'll be conducting a public hearing during a regular meeting. We've done all the advertising and all that's necessary for that. Just want to make y'all aware of that. So you'll be ready for next meeting. Any questions on that? Okay. Thank you. Next item, public works uh, back truck program. I've got, I think I've got that in the packet I just handed out to you. It kind of goes over some numbers. Uh, the truck market has exploded with a wood auction company. He called me uh, last week. Uh, some of the trucks, like we we purchased, uh, paying like $128,000, $129,000 for these trucks. Last sale uh, down in Montgomery a few weeks ago, some of those trucks brought as high as $150,000. Uh, they averaged between $145,000 and $150,000. They had one that brought $150,000. And so the market has exploded. You know, it's just, I think it's a good time to sell our trucks. Uh, I've kind of went through here our current 2014 trucks that we purchased in the spring of 2013. Uh, they are 14 models. We paid $490,522 for them. Uh, Wood Auction is going to guarantee us that they bring $523,000, which is uh, $33,000 more dollars than we give for them. And you'd have to take their commission. Uh, they get a 7% sale fee. Uh, it gets you down to 486. That's the minimum I think they'll be. And if they continue like they're doing, you know, this number could be a lot more. But we're guaranteed that amount. That we'll get that amount if we send our trucks down there. 
to replace, uh, we'll, net, net minimum guarantee will be $486,390 to replace these 14 trucks with 2015 trucks and the low boy tractor would be $493,000. So the, the most that we would be out is about $7,000 for 40 trucks, new warranty, and uh, no miles. I don't think we'll be out of anything. I think we're actually, I, and Russ actually thinks, Russ Woods, he actually thinks we'll probably make it a lot. But that's the, that's the guarantee right there on the, on the truck. Are these vehicles paid for now or do we still have payments? We, uh, we still owe. Two. One or two. One or two. Uh, I looked up solid waste trucks. I was going to look up them, and I forgot to. <coughs> we still owe a little bit, huh? And the way the way the process works is uh, <coughs> these are financed with Bancor. Like we always have, uh, when we sell them, and uh, Woods sells them, they take care of all that through Bancor, and all Woods pays off Bancor, and then we get what we, you know what's left after paying. They all that's just kind of a courtesy they do for sending their trucks to them. Makes it saves a lot of paperwork on, on Mr. Manning and the county. Okay. Any questions or comments on that? Uh, what would we need to do to proceed with that? Is that a bid process that we need to do? No, uh, these, all these trucks are actually bid on the ACCA bid. That's where we always bid them. And uh, I just, uh, we just need approval from the commission to proceed forward with it and uh, go ahead. What I need to do, uh, we need to go ahead and order those new trucks and y'all would approve me ordering new trucks and, and sign an agreement with the auction company to, uh, to sell our old truck. Any other questions or comments? No. There's no objection, then we'll put that on the agenda for next Monday also. Okay. Uh, next off, roll off containers. Uh, no, you missed one. Garbage oh, truck. Sorry, garbage truck program. Yeah, okay. Similar situation to uh, to the, uh, the Mack truck. Kind of bring you up to date on the history. Back in February of 2011, we purchased our first pair of new uh, autoloader trucks. We purchased our next pair in November 2011. We purchased our last pair in February 2013. What we'd like to do is, looking back at the ones we originally purchased in February, 2011, we uh, these trucks has got about uh, about eight something thousand miles on them now, about five thousand hours. Not a lot of miles, but it is a lot of hours. We put more hours than what normal people does based on the amount of miles. We uh, we purchased these trucks at a cost of uh, two hundred twenty-five thousand six hundred fifty-two dollars. We uh, we made our last payment on these trucks. We I bought one of these trucks when we bought this first round, and we financed one. Made our last payment only in February this year. Uh, we would like to look at selling these two trucks, just like we're talking about on the Max, and, and purchasing two new ones. Wood Auction Company also, and you've got an email, I've got garbage trucks real to the top of it. <coughs> Wood Auction Company says they believe they will bring in the $115,000 to $130,000 range and they would guarantee us 115 if we uh, chose to do that. The, uh, let's see here. What I we understand what you said. You said we'd give 225,000 for these trucks. Give 225. And now we guarantee 230,000? We guarantee 115. We give 225 a piece. Oh, okay, okay. That's where I misunderstood that. We gave one piece. 225 a piece. We've had them about uh, three and a half years. So you can see that the value is going to start going down quickly. That's Why are we not doing these every year like our dump trucks if, if we're making money? They they don't sell like dump trucks do. They, the market's not there for it. I would have, you know, we, we talked about doing this last year before we done the work. You know, is the replacement cost the same? Replacement cost? Uh, no, sir. That's a good question. I was going to bring it up. The last, uh, the last two we brought was uh, two forty-two a piece, which was back in uh, last year, so they went up some. But at the same time, you know, when we go sell those, they'll be about to, you know, they'll bring more. Yeah. 
but the reason I brought this up, Daryl and I was discussing this, and these two trucks are, you know, we've got the extended warranty on them, which is going to cover any big costs, but uh, we're, we're starting to get a lot of little stuff that's going wrong with them. Uh, you look at our maintenance uh, report for this past year and see they've been, they've been up there several times to get little stuff done that we, you know, we can't do, it's computer stuff or you know, stuff that Mac has to do. But just something I wanted you to, you know, think about uh, the, uh, you know, see, see how we want to, you know, proceed. Uh, of course, uh, the sale is in the uh, like middle part of September, I believe. Uh, we've been Will they reimburse our warranty that we just bought those folks remaining? If we sell those, we get our money back. No, no, it, no. It's a, it's a, it's not a Mac warranty. Uh, from the call, we have to go, go out to get another warranty. It, go, it goes with the truck. It goes with the truck, which would help the sale of the truck. Does uh, I, I'd like to see what we spent in you know, the maintenance budget on this. Um, I can tell you, it's about uh, we've spent we've spent close to twenty thousand, but about twelve of that has been warranted. So we we've, we've been out about eight thousand on each truck. And that's just this year, you know, we ain't we for a full year yet. But that don't count a lot of us, you know, they're getting, you know, that don't count the record bills where we've had to go get them a time or two or the downtime of the employees. Is, uh, is this uh, <coughs> something that we could do at the end of this month and still be on time to give us a month of August or whatever? I, I know we could do it as far as getting to the sale. That wouldn't be a problem. But I, I need to call the guy and see how much notice it would need to get the new ones in here because we can't we can't be down we can't be without a truck without a two truck. <coughs> and what I'd like to do I can check on that and have all that for you money. What's the physical appearance of these trucks? Do they look rough? The trucks we got, mm -hmm. no sir. We uh, you know we we wash them and everything once a week, maintain them. They look good. They're really, they're really good looking trucks for the, what they've got on. I'd like for you to come down and look at them Friday about lunch sometime. They look terrible Thursday because I've been in the mud and the trash and all that, but uh, Friday after lunch, they, they look good. Every Friday after lunch. Yeah, the question. So your recommendation is if we wait, we're going to end up losing money. It sounds to me like we wait another year, we're going to really drop. Well, I, I don't know, uh, Commissioner, if it would drop that much more or not. It's it just, uh, I, I think it's more the maintenance thing. That we're, we're, well, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. If you had the maintenance and the drop, yeah, the, the amount of money is going to yeah. be. See, like this time last year, uh, you know, I talked to them. Well, I think we all, you know, we discussed it a little bit. We were looking at about 150 to 160 last year on these trucks. So, you know, you kind of. So that's dropping about $40,000 plus the $10,000 maybe that's $50,000. Yeah. But uh, I'd, I'd like if it pleases y'all, I mean, you know, have y'all put it on the agenda for money and I'll try to have all the information and we can vote yeah or nay. When are you looking at replacing the other two between the rooms? Is it just... Uh, they're actually, uh, they're a year and year. They're as far enough down the line as a year and year. So uh, okay. maybe, maybe it, what we'd like to do is get in a, in a pattern there replacing, you know, a year from now. And then the last two, the next year. Will the garbage trucks, the funds have to come out of solid waste or some of this can come out of capital improvement? I think all of this would have to come from solid waste. Um, we could... Can we supplement out of capital improvements if it's so cheap? It's an asset. Yeah. 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 Maybe, you know, like I said, maybe the two that would sell would be enough to buy from one since you're buying. Uh, if there's no objection, I'd, I'd like to see what that will place us on the agenda pending the information we receive uh, on the dollar amounts. And, and as soon as you get that, if you can send it to us, and, and okay. I'd like to sit down with Bob and kind of take a look at that budget. To, okay. All right. I, I printed off our. I printed off where we kind of stay not budget, but where we're at on our balance on solid waste. And I, I know Bob's got that. Yeah, the balance is one thing. We've got to stay with the budget. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any 
any other questions or comments? Next item is uh, roll off the table. Uh, Y'all ask us to kind of keep track of uh, people calling in. It has actually fell off tremendously. We're not getting a lot of calls. Uh, I think y'all have a copy of that there, the NJP at the top, and, uh, NJPA. Uh, 261,000 for the uh, trucks and 20 roll-offs. We were talking, about, and I'll just tell you the conversation I had with Daryl today. To us, the garbage trucks is more important than the roll-offs. You know, we'd like to put a priority over them, if, you know, if we want to go one way or the other. The roll-offs, like I said, we're not getting as many calls as we, as we was, but probably a lot of, you know, word got out we don't have. Uh, so. But I just wanted to bring it back to you. I told you I'd report back to you on it. And uh, this is not something that would have, you know, the time frame on it like the garbage trucks was. It just, uh, the decision y'all would make. Any questions or comments? <coughs> Roll off pretty handy. You know, during the storm of the buckle boom. Well, you ain't kid. You know, we would have got one. Yes, are we are we overstaffed at all? Solidly. Yeah. About, about uh, probably uh, maybe one, two workers. I know. You know, I wonder if, if we shouldn't, I mean, if we got people it's a good opportunity. Would we make money for solid waste and keeping them? Do you think there'd be we, enough for one or two people to stay busy? On a, yeah, on a, on a <coughs> perfect day, we have we have got one. You know, they usually clean it up or something like that. And if we have a truck driver layout, you know, we've got we've got to pull them in. You know, we can't shut them out. There. We've got to keep we got to keep at least one. Of them. And right now, we've uh, you know we probably got two. That's what makes it. We're, we're, we're not start, we're just. That's in addition. We don't utilize it until it works. Yeah. 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 Uh, if, the, if, if the committee would take a look at that and bring a recommendation to the commission on where we want to go with that, uh, it would be a revenue source that we did start providing the service to the county. Uh, I believe the county students have started providing that too. Uh, both of the county have got those. Southeastern Publications. They do campground and park maps. Got some, uh, some uh, examples of what they do. Okay. I don't know if y'all got a copy of this or not. Can you pack it? But they come, they, they come in and they, they map the campground and the park out. Uh, as far as I know, the contract states it's supposed to be free. This is something that uh, Rick Porter needs to look over. <coughs> for a smaller area like ours, probably one of those smaller maps. And the people that pay for it is those people with the uh, advertisements, right? Uh, we would get about 3,000 maps. I think this is a yearly contract deal. And the only thing they charge for, like I say, which supporters have to look it over, is that you would have to give them two weeks of stay at the park, which is uh, be around three hundred fifty dollars. The people that would come in and map oh. and do the map, they would have to have two weeks of stay at the park. And that would be the only cost. As far as I know, Mr. Durham, but we need to get Mr. Porter to look over this contract to make sure. How many folks are you talking about? Uh, one spot? One spot. Two people would be two people, but just one spot. I like it. I think it'd be good for the community. 
cost the same thing other than yeah. one spot. They got a lot of, I was looking through them, they got a lot of nice things on me. So what they do or things like that. And one reason why they come over here is because, you know, you may do some upgrades or something. <coughs> well, I guess, did you get a copy of Mr. Porter? Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If there's no objection, we'll place this on the agenda next Monday. See if there are any other concerns or questions on it. And as far as I don't have to keep those, if you like to have an option. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. The next item is regarding the roadblock policy. Um, you have in your package a copy of something that has been put together. It's not what's in force right now. We kind of go by these guidelines, but the commission has not adopted anything. I believe Mr. Duffy has uh, wanted to bring this up to discussion. Concerns from this weekend? Yeah, we had an incident up on Saturday night where uh, the church had come from Center, Alabama, that found out it wasn't even a, a church after got investigated, uh, taking up money. Uh, I think we, want to, we need to tighten up the, how we do these. Uh, they also, even by our own policy, uh, they were kids between the ages of three and five years old taking that money on the yellow line. Uh, the I don't know what the perfect answer is, but we're going to have to do something. The Sheriff's Department did not move. Yeah. Yeah. If you got any ideas, any suggestions you would like to put out on it? Well, we've got some agencies that, like volunteer fire departments, that don't even call for a permit. And they, they don't set up at intersections. They set up in the middle of the road and stop people, everybody that comes by, which I don't see their authority to do that. I've discussed the, with some of those fire departments. The big question, really, Mr. Porter, is what authority do we have in, in a lot of these roadblocks? Um, again, the Sheriff's Department worked very well with us as far as going out when there is an issue. And, and the way we handle it now uh, is that we will give a permit if they call in, uh, we'll give a permit. Uh, Qualified agencies um, <coughs> yeah, and allow them, you know, in a certain area, a certain time, of course, they do. We do require that they be 18 and have on their reflective vest and all that. Or we're essentially going by this, but again, nothing's been, uh, as I understand, officially adopted by the commission. Right. It, it, it ought to be in any permits that are issued, ought to uh, have indemnity clauses in them. Indemnifies the county from anybody getting hurt because of I think that'd be the biggest thing as far as I can see. Does the sheriff have the authority to draw a citation when we get children that are under the age of 18 out there on the road? Like it was it's it's a matter of traffic control. And I don't think the sheriff can, it, I don't whether think they're 18 or, or not, I think it'd be a violation of their permit. Violation of the permit, but I don't think there's any violation of any state law that we. Plus, I don't know what authority we have on a state highway yeah. to remove somebody from there if the state doesn't want to do anything. But right. well, now they, this one, now most of them are on state highway, like state forty. But this one actually happened on a county road. Who, who, who would be responsible for verifying that it's a, a, a the agency or? The, the, the way that we've handled the process in the commission office would be that they have to bring us information showing that they're a nonprofit agency um, and the purpose for the, the for the roadblock and then you know approve on a case by case basis there. Folks, I'm talking about any permits. There was no yeah. If they don't and if they don't receive one that's outside of this. Uh, the, the problem is going back to the enforcement portion of it and, and some type of uh, ramifications if they do uh, have, I guess, not abide by this. What what are the possibilities? Would we have to get a law passed to have it in the policy? Or do we want to get it? I think you could probably, and I'd have to look at this, um, because, it, again, it does deal with traffic control. On county roads, at least, um, Probably state highways within the county that were responsible for the traffic control. 
but we, there may be a possibility that the commission could adopt a resolution that uh, puts some enforcement provisions in uh, this process. But I'd have to look at it and see if the county does have that problem. Well, one thing, Mr. Chairman, is on our current policy, I'd like to see it change to instead of emailing permits or giving them a number, they have to physically come to the courthouse and get the permit. I think that would deter some of the of what we got going on. It'll, it'll make it a little more inconvenient. But if, but if you're really doing it for a worthy cause, it shouldn't be that big a problem to come to the courthouse. If there's what, if based again, this is something that's been kind of put together and some ideas have come together. If everyone will look over that, if that's the direction that we want to move in, and if there are any ideas or anything uh, to supplement this, uh, Mr. Porter, if you would check and see what can be done, and then we can have him put together a resolution outlining this. And I agree with you that they need to come and actually pick up a permit. Any other questions or comments on that? You can check on that and we'll see what the possibilities are. Where are we going to put this back on? Uh, I'd say let's uh, plan for the first or maybe the next work session if anyone has something covered by then. Uh, we've got a lot going on, so we'll try to have this at the next work session and discuss again. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Move on to our reports, Mr. Manning. Uh, Mr. Wagner. No, sir. Mr. Porter. No, sir. Chief Deputy. No, sir. Mr. Rogers. Uh, we will have a budget hearing following uh, Mr. Miller. No, sir. Mr. Duffy. No, sir. Mr. Lane. No, sir. Uh, I would like to note two things. We've uh, been uh, approved for two grants, um, received notification for. Uh, one in cooperation with the city of Scottsboro. Uh, that grant uh, was for five hundred thousand dollars, is eighty twenty. So the county is responsible for a hundred thousand, and that was for the downtown sidewalk project. So uh, that's a good thing. Both ourselves and the city of Scottsboro were approved for that grant. It's a million dollars towards the project, and they're looking at another two hundred thousand dollar grant also. So that will be a, a very good project when that comes about. I believe uh, when we talk about it, probably next year before the project gets started, we'll be doing the work in the meantime. Again, as agreed upon by the resolution that was passed, the county will be out no more than 100000 uh, our portion of our uh, grant that was received. So that's really good news on receiving that. Uh, also, we have received, Mr. Weider brought to me, uh, to my attention, we received a, a small portion. We had applied for 300000 but received 63000 for our recycling program, which again, that's going to help us quite a bit expand that program. Uh, we've got to determine what we want to use that for, whether it be all for trailers or whether we want to purchase. Well, I guess it says for, is it limited to trailers? I it think is. it is. I, did, I got that right before it came. I okay. had a chance to talk to uh, you. We'll find that out. But, uh, either way, I have to add a few more sites, uh, locations as far as our uh, recycling goes. So that'll be beneficial in expanding recycling through the county trying a few more locations, so that's a, another positive thing to see today. All right, uh, that concludes all the items on our agenda, so we'll recess, and uh, we'll motion for recess, we'll head downstairs for the budget review. All those in favor say aye. 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 aye.